Hello there and welcome. It's Machine Dana. I hope you're doing really, really well. In this video, I'm going to be going through how you can create a recording within OBS Studio of both your gameplay in full 1080p QLE. 4k double d the full shebang okay at the same time as also recording the full hd qle i can't do this and keep a straight face at the same time <laughs> you also want to record your webcam in full hd at the same time as well now, there's a lot of flexibility in doing this there's actually two different methods i'm only going to be showing the simple method today which means you don't need any plugins for obs studio and you can just do it by tweaking some of the output settings on obs studio it's dead easy to set up and it gives you so much more flexibility when you're recording and editing inside your editing software towards the back end of the video i'll also show you how you can split it off within your editing software just to make the most of that footage once you've got the raw footage to work with. Now we'll be doing a second more complicated version of this which involves OBS Studio portable version, also involves a plugin which is a virtual camera which essentially allows you to record two separate videos, one of each separate thing at the same time. But that's a lot more complicated and I didn't want this video to be too long so I'm just going to do the simple version in this video but once I've done that more complicated version I will link it in the description below and on the card here. But first, a quick thanks to the sponsor for this video, Owned.Pro. Owned.Pro is your one-stop shop for everything you need to turn your stream into a professional-looking broadcast. In just a few clicks, you can install the OBS Studio plugin to gain rapid access to over 600 fresh overlays, and they are some of the best overlays in the game. You also get loads of widgets, stream alerts, a chatbot, tons of other streamer tools like countdowns, custom commands, timers, moderation tools, a dono page, and much, much more more and the best part is if you use code machine at checkout my partner code you will get 50% off an annual owned.pro subscription click the partner link below to get more information and go check out owned.pro now and let me know what you guys think well, let's go So the first thing we're going to do is open up OBS Studio. And as I said, for this, we don't need any plugins. It's just using the base settings for OBS Studio to achieve a full HD webcam and a full HD, full resolution gameplay. What I'm just going to do here is I'm going to open up a new scene. I'm going to call this scene double recording. So this is going to basically include the cam and gameplay. We now have a blank scene open in OBS Studio. Now we need to go into the video settings within OBS Studio. So I'm going to go into the settings here. And we need to be looking at the video settings. Bearing in mind, this only applies to recording. Now, just a quick moment here. If you are looking to both stream at the same time as recording at the same time and also achieve this full HD look across everything, that complicates things quite a lot more. And you may want to look at the second method. Again, once I've recorded that, I'll link it in the description below and on a card. But that is a lot more complicated because not only are you recording two full HDs of two different instances, but you're essentially also streaming streaming at the same time as well. So you've got a sort of like a wild card complication there. So it just involves some plugins to have a work around some of those complications. Here I'm just talking about recording those things both at the same time. Say for example, you're recording a YouTube video or something like that. So we're going into the video settings. Now all we're trying to do here is achieve a situation where we've got either a side by side next to each other version of everything. So we're essentially having one OBS canvas that's having both your full camera on it and also your full HD gaming on it. So the base canvas resolution would normally be the size of your monitor and the output scale resolution would normally be the recording that you want or the stream that you want in terms of the stream resolution. What we need to do here is essentially double the width of the canvas. Now for me, I'm recording in 4K and I'm scaling everything down to 1080p. But for this, what I want to do is record in two HDs next to each other rather than 4K. Essentially would add another layer to that. So it would almost be four if I was doing it in 4K. So for me, what I need to do is actually double the width of the output scaled which means they'll be double the size of the screen to the width but the depth stays exactly the same so instead of 1920 by 1080 i'm going to have 3840 by 1080 as both the base and the output resolution here. I just need to be careful here because what will happen is when you change the canvas, it will auto scale the bottom one. So we just need to copy the top and paste it into the bottom. And we'll see now our aspect ratio is 32 by nine instead of 16 by nine. Now, obviously your resolution, your screen resolution may differ. And also the performance of your stream will slightly dictate what you're going to do here. You may, for example, be on a 1280 by 720p outputted resolution, in which case you'd need to double the width resolution. So so 1280 times 2 would be 
you'd have a 2560 by 720p resolution. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, when I apply this, what it's going to do is apply this 32 by nine aspect ratio within OBS Studio. Bear in mind, it does nothing to your screens. It does nothing to your webcam at this stage. I'm gonna apply that. Now, as you can see here, the canvas is twice the width. Now, all we need to do in this double recording screen that we've got is add the sources that we need. Now, bear in mind, if we wanted to, we could have made this 4K and we could have added four different cameras or four different 1080p scenes on here. But obviously, that relies on a decent powered PC and so on and so forth. So I'm just going to go ahead and click add here a video capture device. I'm going to add a new video capture device, which would be, I don't know, 1080 HD Sony A5100. Click OK on that. I'm going to select this camera here, which is essentially a copy of the version that you're seeing. And it uses some of the plugins that I talked about earlier, which I'll covering the more detailed video. I'm just going to leave the resolution at device default here. But if you're not sure here, you can specify the resolution with a custom resolution. So you can specify that the camera itself is the resolution that you want it to be. But again, it depends on the hardware of the camera. If you're, for example, trying to make the camera 4K, but the camera only outputs in 1080, that's not going to work, of course. So I'll just click OK on that. And we can see this is already resized perfectly to the canvas because the base resolution of this camera is 1080p. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another source in this scene. I want to add a display capture here and I'm just going to add the existing 4K capture that I've already got. Now the 4K capture because it is a 4K capture is brought in a 4K monitor so I'm just going to have to resize this down. Now, if you've already got a 1080p monitor, then you won't have to resize this down. I'm going to let this snap to the corner here and then just align this perfectly. Now you can see we've got side by side a situation where the canvas covers both the webcam and also the gameplay that we're going to be covering as well. Now, when we record something in this scene, it will record both at the same time. So I'll just hit record here now. Test, test, test. I'm playing some awesome gameplay. Epic gameplay. Triple kills only. Double headshots. Uh, 280 damage and all that rubbish <laughs> and then i woke up with my head in a bowl of cereal so i'll hit stop record on that i'll just hit record here now test 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 i'm playing some awesome gameplay epic game i'm happy that this recording has recorded both sides of that within obs studio so now just jumping into adobe premiere but this could be obviously any video editing software i'm going to go to a new project I'm just going to save this file as a test file and click ok on that so now we've set up our project we now need to bring in that footage that we just created so let's bring this footage in that will import. Another way you can do this in Adobe Premiere is you can click on the project area and press Control I and that will go to the auto tree for importing different media. And we can see here when I drag this on the timeline, it's double screened like this. Now, the thing is, if you're editing this, you more than likely won't want to be outputting in a 32 by 9 aspect ratio. That's quite unlikely. You're more than likely going to be wanting to output this in a 1080p or a 1280, 720 or something like that. So we do need to go into the project settings here. So I'm just going to go into sequence and sequence settings we can see here the frame size is rendering at 3840 by the horizontal of 1080 now the 1080 is correct but we only want this to be 1920 and this should update this to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio and that's exactly what we want to see here and we just see the video previews also will be at 1920 by 1080 click ok on that it's going to just give us a message here to say changes to preview file format of the frame size require all preview files to be deleted this operation cannot be undone Pro click ok on that it's removed them now all we've got here is it's trimmed off both sides of it. So what we now need to do is duplicate the footage. Now in Adobe Premiere, you can hold out, select the footage and just drag it and it will create a copy of it. Or you can just copy it by right clicking and click copy and then right clicking on the timeline elsewhere and then control V on the timeline will make a copy of it. But basically we want to be in a situation where we've got two versions of the file and you guessed it, we're going to split off one file from the other and then we've got a copy of both. Now you're only going to need one audio file from this. So on one of them, I'm going to right click and I'm going to unlink it and I'm going to delete the audio file on this. Now we've got one copy of the audio file on the face cam version. And all I'm just going to do now is change the position so that it's fully to the right hand side on one clip. So I'm setting this to 1920, but I think on OBS Studio, the pixels might have been just one or two pixels off when I snapped it to the edges. If that happens to you, you can just increase the zoom scale of it by like two or something like that. And that'll just change the pixel size and render it to full screen. So we can just move this across slightly there. And now we've got full camera footage there on this clip. And on this clip, you guessed it, we're gonna scroll across to the left hand side with the positioning. And on this side, we actually have 
have it perfectly. We don't need to zoom at all on this. We now have basically two versions of this. And now if you want, you can put the webcam on top of the gameplay. And we could then, if we want to, shrink down the webcam. Let's say, for example, this and place the webcam somewhere else. Now, if you get this situation where it's showing both of them like this on the webcam version, all you need to do is go into the effects column. We'll do a search for crop and I'm going to grab crop and drop it onto the file that we want to crop out. This just gives us some more options for changing the shape and the size of one of the files. You're probably gonna use this on the webcam file. Now from the right hand side in the effect controls here, I'm gonna increase the crop just to crop out the gameplay there. So we now have a version of the webcam that we can scale and it will scale that cropping and we can position it exactly where we want to while still also having a full-sized gameplay here as well. Now, the only thing that you have to be aware of from here is making sure that you're matching the gameplay and also the camera and the audio together. To do this, you want to make sure that you've enabled snapping on the timeline. And what will happen here is that you'll then just be able to drag the clip next to each other and that will snap in place just like that. And they should be perfectly aligned to each other. And then you can just edit this as normal. So there you go, an easy way with no plugins required for you to record both full screen gameplay and also full screen webcams within OBS Studio. Hopefully you found this useful. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe, donate your children to me. Uh, have a great day. See you later.